please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell to never miss an upload from Bernard GH. for today and we're expecting an interesting game for the first time these two teams are meeting to get their rivalry back on track but again without the fans to watch these two yeah with all the heart and soul of Kumasa Santik Motoko but who does he favor certainly Ashko but they are coming into this territory knowing very well that Kotoko wouldn't have their 12 man back in them better the fans and the fans too would be at home and be watching the game on star times at the party and be you know itching that they could have been at the stadium to actually urge their team on. but the rivalry is still going to be there the fierce competition between these two sides will still be there and it's a game that all of us are eager to see how it unfolds the talking point has been about these two goalkeepers felix annan and then kwame ba kwame ba since taking that role following felix annan's wedding has been kotoko's number one and he's been in some good form the question is when will felix annan get his chance back he's the captain of the side it will feel comfortable warming the bench for the porcupines but maxwell Pedro has maintained that he knows what he's about and Felix Annan has no qualms at all warming the bench of the Porcupine Warriors. Only, only Max Okunudi can answer the question of when Felix is going to come back into the sticks. But all credit to Kwame Ba stepping into those huge shoes of Felix. He's absolutely been good. He's keep... Kotoko and Ashanti Gold meeting match day 10 of the Ghana Premier League at the Kumasi Babayara Sports Stadium without the crowd, without the number 12 man for Ashanti Kotoko. But it was Kotoko who showed early signs of some good football parading the lineup without Justice Blay, Kwame Adum and Mudasiru Salifu. There are three trusted midfielders, Nabi Keita, Jemfi, Opoku, Mensa, slotting in together with Collins Amiyao, Emmanuel Ba, for whom the miners have claimed was not in the best of forms, hence he's been kept on the bench in previous games, steps in, and Apia Makati called Kwame back to duty early in the game and you give him credit for always having that sense of awareness and judgment to come out in situations like this. So here is Donko doing the run and picking up the pass from Bafo, sends a cross in early for a shen, but Kwame Ba again came in well after some good covering from Ajiman Bedu. Yeah, so that was a good ball into that area. It should not making that run early enough. You know, into the near post. But it's by again who's looking the very confident goalkeeper and making sure he's getting something on it. Again, Apia Makati will test Kwame Ba from Dunkers free kick. Not a weak head that won't trouble. They yeah. inform Kwame Ba. He didn't really get on his head. It was almost around his shoulder somewhere, so not enough to generate enough power. So this was an opportunity, but Kingsley say his first touch on his chest gave him up, and some brave goalkeeping from Frank Boateng. Yeah, he was brave, stepping off his line and making sure he was getting to the ball. All he had on his mind was to get something on the ball and stop Kingsley from getting to it first. He had to suffer the process, but that was brave goalkeeping by him, Frank Boateng. Matthew Encho was trying to put Opoku Mensa in with this last touch of the first half. Uneventful, no clear cut. <laughs> Summit has gifted possession of Opoku Mensa. This lackluster from Opoku Mensa, unpardonable from the former Karela captain. He was given a glorious opportunity to put Kotoko ahead. My oh my. Wow, well, Opokumensa should be doing better with that opportunity. William Opokumensa, yeah. and look at the former Karela captain. What was he thinking? That's uncalled for for a player at his level. Yeah, that's uncalled for. That was really poor. Cool. Okay, but okay, look at him. him. He kept an eye on the ball and it never really went down quickly enough. Jamesy's delivery found Moro. But his delivery will still not go in. Jemfi, he went past Akamin Kun. There was a shot for a penalty because yeah. Kujua Mwakun went out there. Again, Mubarak Yusufa to block Matthew Entry. And Martin, 
just unlucky, gets in the crossbar, and Eric Donko, clever defending, stayed on the line and got that ball away after that header from Nabi Keita. Yeah, yeah. And Mark was unlucky, ball came off his hand. Not so much to do with that. But this one again, the ball coming off the crossbar. That was a powerful one. But Eric Donko, take a look at his anticipation and waiting for it. Finally gets to clear it off the line. And so Kumasi Hassan Tukotoko was probing for the long goal. And this clearance from Mubarak Yusuf was just timely. Right place, right time to stop Okra. And this is the last moment. Unlucky Apia Makati, the final kick of the afternoon, striking the side post, leaving the score at full time. Asante Kotoko 0, Asante Gold 0.